Hello, I'm Commander Chris Ansell, the Commander and Executive Officer of HMS Queen Elizabeth, the fleet flagship. HMS Queen Elizabeth is the first of the Royal Navy's two incredible modern aircraft carriers. This ship has been designed especially for the F-35B Lightning II Strike Fighter. This makes the Queen Elizabeth class the most capable and powerful surface warships the Royal Navy has ever operated. We're going to take you on a tour around the ship and show you some of the compartments that make this ship work. I hope you enjoy your tour. It's a Warrison one Ned Cole. I'm the executive Warrison on board Queen Elizabeth. And welcome to the Three Fox office flat. Up here you've got the majority of the department coordinators who basically coordinate the ship's company. You've got all the uh, writing functions for the uh, ship's cash office, the unit personnel office, the captain's office. These are the guys who maintain our core crew of 800, but more importantly, enable us to surge that extra 800 in bulk force as and when required. The key of this flat really is the drum, the drum beat of the ship. So it's the daily routines we produce with the commander, the one first lieutenant, myself, and those depots, the daily orders, the really exciting stuff that keeps the ship on track. Good afternoon, welcome to HMS Queen Elizabeth. One also Red McEwen, I am the whole ship Seabound DCQ, and I'm responsible for training uh, the ship's company in dealing with fires and floods on board uh, the warship. So like uh, all ships, uh, we've not got the ability to call the fire brigade or any other emergency services when we have any incidents on board, whether it be a fire or a flood. So all personnel in the, the Royal Navy are qualified uh, to do initial firefighting and damage control practices using different uh, bits of, various bits of equipment. Uh, the ship is split up into six zones. It's all controlled from HQ1, which is the, the, the nerve centre of the ship for any major incident. However, within each zone, there is a section base which will be responsible for managing the incident within the, those zones. Those zones also have two fire repair party posts, which we're currently in at the moment, uh, and they will have personnel which will be split up into specialist teams that can be called upon to uh, deal with any incidents. I'm Chief Petty Officer ETME EL Thomas Howard and I'm currently the group head of the propulsion section on board. The watch at sea consists of MS Watch 1, MS Watch 2, LAT of the watch and four ETME watchkeepers who are the guys on the call face conducting rounds every hour of all running machinery and equipment to ensure everything is maintained and running correctly for as long as their watch lasts, which is four hours at a time. A combined output megawatt total uh, on this platform produces 25 knots of ship speed and can power up to 36,000 homes within the UK or that equivalents to 300,000 kettles. I'm Chris Rouse, chef on HMS Queen Elizabeth. We have four galleys on board. Uh, the aft galley which feeds the senior rates and officers. The flag galley which feeds um, the captain and any visitors he's, he has on board. Uh, the ACRB galley which feeds uh, pilots and anyone that's working through nighttime flying. Uh, and the forward galley which feeds junior rates. In the forward galley we'll feed, on our last trip we fed uh, 900 people uh, over a 24 hour period. In one galley we'll have 16 chefs which will be split um, between night, night shifts and day shifts. We, we have a rotation of 12 hours. I'm Katie Fitzgerald and welcome to our 60th cabin on HMS Queen Elizabeth. I'm an AB Warfare Specialist 1 and this is where I live. Uh, it's a six fifth cabin and when we're at sea it actually goes to an eight fifth cabin. It's quite spacious, we have quite a lot of storage. We also have a mess square, a rec space where we'll go and chill out in the evenings. We've got a tea boat where we can drink tea and coffee at any time. Um, if we want a fizzy drink or a chocolate bar we've got a shop on board which is also known as an happy to us. So that's it. I hope you found your tour interesting and enjoyable.